I've been in shooting all my life since I was sort of, you know, very, very young, I'm from a farming background. Uh, so there's always been a shoot on the farm at home. Um, we progressed into game farming some 25 years ago, which sort of then got us involved in, in, in shooting to a heavy extent. Um, and we ran other shoots before this one, which we gave up over the years and ended up here. I moved down here 25 years ago into Devon from Shropshire and um, we've been developing here since then. This is a type of day that, that as a sportsman you really enjoy. The birds are high, challenging, you can pick and choose the ones that you want to shoot, but there really is something here for everybody. It's always our aim to give people a challenging bird to shoot when they come here. And it's not just um, the shooting, it's the package of being in the hotel, hopefully the night before, and being by the sea and the general scenery. And, you know, we, we sort of give people shooting that hopefully and the experience that they won't sometimes find anywhere else. The defining feature of the shoot here has to be the dramatic landscape. Beautiful, stark cliffs launching up into the, uh, up into the clouds, really dense deciduous woodland, lots of natural cover, uh, plenty of places for pheasants and pasturage to hide, and then all of a sudden they're on you. You've got a split second to make a decision and they're flying so fast and so high that often you've hit them without even knowing. You put, you put your gun up, take a bird, give it lots and lots of lead, break the gun, put the gun back up, and then you see the, bowl, the bird fold behind you. So the dramatic um, scenery here and the dramatic cliff faces really do give an, an outstanding bird. Well, I'm quite new to shooting, so um, yeah, it was pretty challenging, but I got there, I think, a couple of times, so it's definitely good. Nothing I've been on before, so yeah. I think every um, team is different. I mean, obviously we get lots of groups of people to come in to shoot who have known each other for years and shot for years and travel around the countryside in various parts of the country shooting. And I think it's hugely important that they do have a fun day out. You know, we have all sorts of stories of what goes on and jumping into the sea and, and having good nights out the night before and, um, you know, then being ready for the next day. But everybody, we've got a cheerful team of people working for me which we've developed over the years and, and, and uh, yeah I think it's um, very we try to create a very relaxed atmosphere and I hope it comes over as, as that. In the last drive, I'm hoping to connect with more birds. Um, the difficulty here is they, they break from so many different places that just when you think you've got the time, the distance, the, the lead that you need to be given, one will pop up about 20 yards higher, you don't recognise it, and then suddenly you're behind. So if I could try and tie all the lessons I've learned today and have one outstanding drive, um, that would be great. But in reality, I still think I'm going to be missing a few more than I hit. I'd like to think that our birds are reasonably challenging. Um, you know, most people, if they're coming out of the dry, saying, well, that was good and God, that really tested me, that's, that's, that's what I want to hear. I shoot quite a bit, and this has certainly humbled me. Uh, I think my favourite uh, part of the day was the second drive. I shot reasonably well on the first drive, missed a few, took me a while to get onto them. But on the second drive, I had the shoot captain stood behind me, so there's always a little bit of additional pressure there. Uh, and he was very complimentary about my shooting. I managed to get two, probably two of the best hen birds I've shot all season. Landed them nice and close so he could get his dog to pick them up. And, uh, and he said That's, it's very unusual for him to be able to carry birds back from that peg. So he was. Um, very, very complimentary about my shooting, which doesn't happen normally in the company of friends. They're more honest than that, so that was very generous and, and certainly helped to make my day.
It's all about camaraderie and the, the country way of life. But for sure, if shooting was ever banned, it would be a disaster for the countryside.